Alrighty, so I think we're all ready to go there. Alright, so what we are going to do is... Nope, I'm not gonna... Nope, not interested in that. Don't want to get spoilers. Uh, Shadow of the Earth Tree. Uh, but what we will do is find the DLC trailer, launch trailer, and just give my thoughts on it. Now let me make sure that it's actually recording still. Yep, still recording. Alright. So we're just going to watch this and we're going to give our thoughts on it. Peggy 16. My loyal blade and champion of the festival. Both your deeds will ever be praised in song. For redemption. The answer Okay, so this is the is first clean. thing I wanted to point out. These are the fly enemies from make sure this is still recording. Yep. These are the fly enemies from Dark Souls 3. The giant fly from Ashes of Arendelle. That's one thing I wanted to point out. Yeah. Okay, so we have blood fast weapons now. That's pretty cool. The mere sight of your blade sets my heart aflutter. All the more I yearn to crush it in my grasp. Yep, so looks like we're gonna be dealing with Death Blight again. Exactly as I thought, so. The Earth Tree is my people's enemy. By Marika long betrayed. Set a flame. Okay, so this guy is definitely some kind of boss. The fog that vexed my aging faculties has been lifted, and follies better left forgotten haunt me once again. That's definitely a boss. Such as it is, this battle could not Another be more dragon. fitting. We love dragons. For the birth of a new god, and the coming of a lord, We really fucking love dragons, dude! Holy shit! Promise me. You'll be my consort. No can do. Okay, so maybe it means available June 21st, 2024, as in is available for purchase on stores and stuff. Because people have probably already pre-ordered it. No, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Pre-ordering it just means you get it early, but actually, it's actually going to be available for everyone to buy on the 21st. 
All right, so that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it was... Guess why... I, I mean, the coolest thing I saw was that dragon. I mean, we all love dragons. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see what it is. Uh, one other thing I actually wanted to check. Apparently there were some patch notes. Uh, let me... Um... Patch 1.12, I think it was. Yeah. Uh, over 16 years, yep. Uh, continue without accepting, fuck that shit. Um, yeah, so... Um... Summon Torrent during Elden Beast, which we did on my stream. And it, it worked out okay. I saw, like, a video where it was kind of laggy, but I think they just did it, like, right away as soon as they saw the patch notes and just as it was uploaded, so, like, it didn't have time to, like, settle in. Um, we're gonna ignore all the PvP stuff because we don't care about PvP. Um, Flaming Strike decreased damage. I don't really use Flaming Strike. Um, this is all PvP as well. Uh... General balance. Um, increase the speed of some attacks. Yeah, I didn't notice a difference at all. Yeah. Increases the duration of the effect of Mog's Great Rune that increases the attack power when a bleeding status effect is triggered by a nearby spirit, some summon spirit. No one uses Mog's Great Rune, dude. No one uses it. So it's still useless. Decrease the heal amount reduction. Increase the heal on attack effect. No one uses Melania's Great Rune either. Increase the attack power of arrows, great arrows, bolts, and great bolts can be crafted through iron crafting. I'm actually kind of interested in that. <laughs> Um, because, you know, I like crafting, not a lot of people use it, because I think it's, like, pointless, but now it should be a little bit less pointless, hopefully. If only they made, like, these crafting items actually easier to get, that would be nice. Other than just farming for them for ages, because no one likes that. Just, like, let it, look, maybe you can just triple the amount of... Crafting items we get. Maybe five times increase. That would be nice. Decrease the effect duration of Cerulean Hidden Tier, yeah. Um, decrease the effect that increases the power of spells, Terra Magica. I don't use that anymore anyway. Um, Cerulean Hidden Tier, the only reason people use that is for, like, spells that require you to hold it down, like Estelle's Meteor, or, uh, Kama Azer, which, yeah, I don't use that anymore. I thought it was cool the first time I tried it, but it's really no fun anymore, so no one really uses that. Um, Prince Destra, Stab, Increase Attribute Scaling, Golden Order Seal, Increase Attribute Scaling, Claw Mark, Dragon Communion... Uh, so we can have blade, yeah. Um, skill adjustments kick, increase poise amount. Um, decrease poise damage, glint blade, phalanx. That's the only reason people use it. So you pretty much shot yourself in the foot with that one. Strong shot, that's not what it's called. It's it's called, um, um, hold on, is it called strong shot? It's called Mighty Shot. It's not called Strong Shot. So you messed that one up. Um, Thunder Cloud Form. Decrease Poise Damage. Fuck you. Um, 
Bubble shower, decreased damage, and poise damage. Fuck you again. Um, generated status build up. I don't use I don't use that anyway. Um, people are gonna hate this stuff, so they're probably gonna have to bring it back. Maybe that's what. Maybe that's why it wasn't breaking. Uh, the uh, thundercloud form is the weapon on Dragon King's crit. <laughs> Thing on Dragon King's Craig Blade. Um, maybe that's why I wasn't breaking the stance of the um, bosses as much on yesterday's stream. That's probably why. Uh, bug fixes. Uh, the amount of FP consumed for skills. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Last right skill. Uh, unexpected behaviors. See, that's the thing. They don't explain what any of this means. What does unexpected behaviors when some incantation... What does that mean? I don't even know what they're talking about. Fixed a bug, fixed a bug. None, none of this I give a shit about. And that's everything for the updates. So, um, the only thing I really care about is the, like, changes to some of the weapons. Because that's, that's the whole reason people use them. I mean, it still has the really good damage of, like, the Thundercloud form, for example. It still has really good damage, but the whole reason people use it is to stance break bosses. Although... I suppose I could just put the, I think it was called the Thorny Crack tier in my um, thing, and then I could start Stansburgian bosses again. I guess maybe it's an attempt to get people to use the uh, Thorny Crack tier, or whatever it's called. Here, let me look that up. Thorny Crack tier. Uh, no, it's... No, it's not the thorny crack tier. It's something. It's um, not twiggy. Stone bug, stone bug crack tier. Three percent. Yeah. So it's the thorn bug crack tier. That. So if we put that in my physics, then I could bring it up to normal. So, anyway, um, I guess that's just gonna be it. That was pretty interesting. And like I said, the only thing that seemed interesting to me was that giant dragon, because we all love dragons. So.